What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about The Last Ever After by Soman Chinani. So this is the last book in the original trilogy of The School for Good and Evil. And I remember very vividly when I read this book the first time because I was in college by that point and I was listening to it a lot while I was working. And I remember just really getting into like seeing these old fairy tales, seeing how far Sophie and Agatha had come. And overall, like this one scene in particular particular really stuck out to me and reading it again was just absolutely so much fun. So by this point in Sophie and Agatha's story, Sophie and Agatha have come through like a lot. Their original fairy tale ended with them finding true love and happiness with each other, but then it turned out that that wasn't quite enough because Agatha found herself still wishing for Tedros. And then we had Sophie being like, okay, well then maybe I need to find my true love. And unfortunately that true love she found in the second book was with the evil schoolmaster named Rafal. This book is truly about, you know, what is the last ever after? Is evil finally going to win, having true love on its side? Is Sophie going to become evil's queen? Or is good still going to vanquish evil with Agatha as the queen of good? Can these two friends find a way to still end happily together? And I really liked that. I really found that in the second book in the series that there was a lot going on with this dichotomy of like, you know, boys versus girls. And I talked about in a separate video, you know, being asexual, being aromantic, like what that meant with the queerness that was already in the story. And I really liked with the last ever after, you really see like it's not black and white. It's not cut and dry. And in order to figure out like what the last ever after is going to be, these girls have to learn from the past. So where we had the school for good and evil, the school for boys and girls, now we have the school for old and new. I really, really liked this. I love especially seeing Agatha and the others interacting with the old good heroes because these are stories that, yes, we know them, yes, we love them, but I think Soman Chinani did a really good job of expanding on them, which he does later on when he writes Beasts and Beauty, which I've already reviewed on this channel, but it was just really, really fun to see. I will still say though, like there are some drawbacks with this book. I do think it is like really, really long, like needlessly long. There is so much that happens. There's so many sections in this book that there's just so much going on. I almost feel like, especially knowing that he went on to write three more books, you probably could have split this book up like in half. You probably could have had like a whole book just be the school for old and new and then a whole book just be the war. Instead, like there is a lot going on with this and you have to finally, you know, tie up all the loose ends with like Sophie and her mother and how Agatha ties into that. You have to tie in all these loose ends with Tedros, which I love all of the beats that we get. I really do love like the way everything comes together, but this book ends up just being very, very long and so much is going on and yet somehow it still feels slow. It's a really strangely paced book. Overall though, like I still really, really enjoyed it. I think this series as a whole is very good. It's definitely not without its flaws and I really wish that that Netflix had decided to do a series rather than a movie because there's so much to these characters and to these stories that you really see, especially with the third book. And I honestly don't think that's gonna translate at all to a movie. But if you've gotten this far and you haven't read the series, I highly recommend that you do. I'm very interested to see where the next three books go because I've never read them before. So I've read this series a couple of times now, like the original three books, but I've never read the next three. So I'm very interested to see how that's gonna play out because I really do love the ending that was given to Sophie, Agatha, and Tedros. It goes back to what I talked about before. I kind of wish there was like a couple of other things like added into it, but ultimately like I really identify with Sophie's story. So I don't know how I'm gonna like it, like seeing where it actually goes, but we're definitely just gonna have to see because I will be continuing on with this series and I'm giving this one an A minus. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.